Welcome back. Welcome back. This is still why in the morning. Uh, before we took that break, we, we were uh, uh, talking about matters concerning self-discipline. It's matters concerning your career. This is Career Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. Uh, uh, if you're just joining us, we are coming from a short break and I'm with Apostle John Nesila. He's a counselor. Yes. And a mentor. Yes. Pastor. Yes. He said the church is called Healing. Healing and Hope Church International. Healing and Hope Church. He's the best man to talk about matters concerning self-discipline. Now, Pastor, before we went, we went on that break, we were talking about matters concerning your background. Yes, your background. Where you're coming from. Yes, that is very important. Very important. Now, I want to, to, to find out from you. Yeah. Regardless of where I come from, yeah. you know, I got a bit confused there when you said that it is not easy to change someone but it is a possible. little bit it is possible a little bit a little bit possible yeah how can someone develop a new style or new sense of discipline when the one they they, they have is hazardous for themselves and is making them lose so many opportunities uh, first of all i have told you uh, somebody must be in a teaching after uh, and after being told he take or she takes an action to forgive him or herself forgive yourself yes yeah. mm -hmm. so when you forgive yourself you can have an ability to forgive others and that is called a mindset healing because what is affecting Discipline, character, and behavior is our mindset. Mm. And that's why in our church I have a program that is called True Mind Healing. Mm -hmm. True Mind Healing is to talk to somebody so that he may or she may understand the life that he or she is living is not good, so he has to change. And that one, that one comes after somebody understand that she's living or is living an error life. Mm. And now make a personal decision that I'm going to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the living God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and making a decision of how you are going to change your life, you must be shown a way. After being taught how to change. Now, after changing, which way are you going to follow? Mm. Even the time you went to school, you were taught how to write. And that's why you went to sit, to sit in the exam without a teacher. Mm -hmm. So after taking a youth and you teach him about the discipline and the good character and good behavior, now show him after this what are you supposed to do so that you may have a good character, a good discipline, so that you may never repeat such a mistake. The mindset. 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 Mindset has a very big role to a youth. Most of the youth are being affected because their mindset were changed by the influence of, of friends, influence of media, because in the media we, we, we find so many things. There is, that is the place uh, our youth, we get influenced to so many things. We get influenced. We we'll, uh, we'll lose our focus. We end up into immorality. We end up to drunk, drunk, drunk. We end up to, to do so many things that is affecting the life of the youth. But then, Pastor, you're, you're talking about forgiving yeah, yourself. Forgive, forgive, Self-forgiveness. Self-forgiveness. Yeah. And, and, and how can that be achieved? It, somebody, somebody is struggling with the, the pain of what they did. Yes. The pain of what 
happened to them and, and, and it's affecting their discipline at work. It's affecting their performance. It's affecting their interaction. Yes. It's so painful that they hate themselves and they believe that they can never amount to anything. It's affecting their discipline. And you're saying it and I'm wondering how can someone forgive themselves when they hate what they did? First of all, I have told you, uh, mm -hmm. you have, you, you, you need to have a mentor, somebody with a knowledge and understanding. Yes, yes. You said we need to have a mentor, a someone mentor, who can show you the way. Uh, show you the way. Uh -huh. Because uh, somebody who shows the way must live according to the way and yes. must be ready to show you the way. Okay. So if I mentor you, mm -hmm. after you, you understand your problem, you understand what you identify your obstacle, your problem, what you have been uh, passing through. Now you will realize the life I've been living is not a good life. So what I have to do is to change my life. And changing your life, that is a self-forgiveness. You forgive yourself. You say, I will never go to drugs again. Because I was taking drugs, because I see uh, my foundation is never allowing me to move forward. I've been hurted, I've been assaulted. Uh, that's why I've made this decision. Now, after being told, now you make a personal decision that you forgive yourself. And after forgiving yourself, now uh, according to the way you are being told by your mentor, you choose a goal. Set goals You for set yourself. a goal mm -hmm. as a youth. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what I'm going to do because I have changed. My mind has changed. I have forgiven myself. Now, this is the life now I'm going to, to live. And, and, and that's where things get touched, yeah. get sticky. Because now, yeah. you, you, some youths, yes, they just want to achieve. But they do not have goals. Yes. A youth has, a, uh, has desires. They say, I desire this and I desire that. But they do not have set goals for themselves. First of all, I thank you uh, why 254? Because you are going to change millions and millions of youth through this program. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. Because what the youth are lacking is mentors. People to mentor them. Mm -hmm. Even you, even if you, you lacked uh, uh, somebody to mentor you today, Maybe you could have some, been somewhere, somewhere else doing other things. Be mm -hmm. But because you said under somebody and he mended you, that's why you are here and you are telling me now you are serving in the church. <laughs> there are so many youth you are, you are in school with, but nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Because what they lack is somebody to mend them. So a youth to change and to choose a goal must, must be under somebody who is ready to mender that person mm -hmm. so that he may understand himself or herself so that he can make a goal. You can't make a goal while your mind is affected, while you have never forgiven yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's why we lack discipline. Mm -hmm. You find in our family, we can't do what we are supposed to do. In our locality, we can't do what we are supposed to do. In our working place, we can't do what we are supposed to do because we were not, we, we not men that and our minds are affected. Especially in our family, that's where we come from. Youth are totally meshed by parents. Some other youths, uh, youth, why, why do they lose uh, discipline? Because you find... Uh, in the family, there is a lot of, a lot of chaos. Uh, father is fighting with the mother. So you, you, so you see there is no unit in the family. So what will you use? Others are being chased from the family. What are they going to use? What are, what are they going to do? And, and, and you're here telling them to be self-disciplined. Yet, yeah. yet where they come from? Where they come from? <laughs> there is chaos. <laughs> there is chaos. Uh, the parents are fighting. And that's what the book, in the book of Lamentation, chapter 5, the Bible says... Our fathers sinned and, and are not there, but we have taken their, uh, their sins. Sins of our fathers. Yeah. In fact, I may say, the root cause of losing the behavior is from our own ground. Hmm. 
So if somebody, if a youth is going to lose a mentor and somebody with a knowledge and understanding on how to change somebody, then we are going to, uh, youth is not ready to, to change, is not ready because there is no one who is showing them the direction. We need mentors, we need men of God, we need men to stand. Now, with the youth, how can a youth stand when their home is falling? You can change them. Uh, first of all, to change, uh, to, to, to teach him how to forgive himself. Yeah. Not to connect him, him or herself with the family assets, with the family chaos. To understand he was born in this earth for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And there is life even without the parents. So if, if, if even if things are not okay at home, yeah. you're saying somebody can rise from the ashes. Even right now in my church, I have 13 boys there. Not that they don't have parents. They have parents. But the, the parents separated. And I came to find them. The, they were chased away from their family. And I took them back to school. I told them, how to have a good character and they forget about what they, uh, the, the, the life they are living, whatever they are facing in the family. And I have tried to change them. Now mm. others are in school, others are in, uh, I think the first one now is in uh, Chuka University. The other one is, wow. uh, is, uh, wow. is uh, mm. some, uh, in, uh, there's a school there called, uh, the, called uh, Kangoro, is in Form 4. Uh, so many boys that I have changed. Others, they were taking these uh, drunks in the, in the, in the street. Mm. And I after them, they have understood themselves, they have forgiven themselves, they understand there is life even after this, and they have chosen their goal. What, what about somebody who hasn't been chased from home? Ajafukuzwa? Ajafukuzwa nyumbani. Lakini kuna shida nyumbani. Kuna shida hapo nyumbani. Kuna shida hapo nyumbani. How can such a person develop self-discipline regardless of that cha uh, a chaotic background and, uh, and, and hostile environment. That's why I have told you, you have to teach anybody first to forgive. Forgive yourself. To forgive yourself. And after forgiving yourself, now set the goal. If there is chaos in your family, now take a position. You say, I am the one now to change my family. I am the one now to change. Because now you have a goal and you are raised a, in a place where there is no goal. Mm. Now you take a position to change your family because you have a goal. And they must see a good character in you so that you can change your family. You can't tell them to change and yet they don't see good discipline. They don't see good character. You have to change yourself. After forgiving yourself and you set a goal, now they will, they will see what you are doing. They, see, they say, now this somebody has changed. And we can follow that, that person. Mm. Yeah. But without setting a goal, without identifying the root cause of your problem, you can't change your discipline. Now, as we talk about yeah. what you can and cannot do, there's some things that are above our powers, that are above us. There are some conflicts that come to us yeah. without us desiring or going for, for yeah. them. And here I'm talking about those who have been, who have gone through abuse. Through abuse in the family. F abuse in the family. Yeah. Physical abuse, sexual abuse, yeah. emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. Those who have gone through neglect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want them to develop their own sense of self-discipline. Yeah. How can they do that? Those who have gone through such things that they did not want or go for, yeah. but it came for them. It came for them. Yeah. They found them, themselves in that situation. In that situation. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to identify the problem. Identify the problem. Identify the source of, uh, of, of that dis uh, lacking discipline. And then you look somebody who can teach you the ways to have good, good, to have good discipline. Because I have told you, for you to change yourself is not easy. You need somebody to show you the way. And uh, again, I repeat, what we are lacking in our country, Kenya, are the people to mentor our youth. 
because the challenges that we are facing that makes us to lack discipline is influenced by something else it has its own source mm. and others are not assorted in the family the the the, 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 the indiscipline were influenced by friends you find somebody he was not chased in the family he was raised well he was given everything by the parents but by the influence of the friends you find some, that somebody lacks discipline that's why i have told you if somebody is not going to realize himself and, and identify the problem where he has gone astray and make a decision to forgive him or herself and make a goal that somebody can never change mm -hmm. the discipline okay yeah okay okay so this this somebody a, a mm -hmm. youth must 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 be ready to sit down mm -hmm. uh be mended understand him shame ourselves and have a true mind healing true mind healing after you have that true mind healing now you forgive yourself and you make a goal now this is the life now i'm going to live mm. and now after now deciding how to change how, 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 how to change your discipline replace that that uh, that thing replace what you are doing with something else you are if you are going to if you are going to be high door if you are going to be uh, just uh, home uh, jobless if you're not doing anything then you can go you are, you are able to go back to to the, to the same discipline but if you replace that bad discipline uh, bad character uh, with a something else then you will find yourself uh you have you have started a good a good journey of life uh, with a good discipline and the character the behavior mm -hmm. so you have to replace it that kind so here yeah, we, we we're talking about now somebody mm, yeah. for you to develop self-discipline and, yeah. and, and and grow as an yeah, individual yeah. Mm. develop a daily routine yes develop a a, a self-care system yes. for yourself yeah right yeah. now as you talk about these uh, daily daily routine and self care system i just want you to, to to just highlight for 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 somebody who's watching you today yeah. what are some of these things that we can engage in maybe on a seasonal or a, on a, or a, a seasonal moment or for some period yeah. that builds our 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 our, 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 our self discipline mm -hmm. You've talked about routine, yeah, routine. developing something, yeah, developing, yeah? Yeah. a self-care system. Yeah. What are some of these things that youths can engage in that build discipline? Yeah. First of all, to build, your, to build the discipline of a youth, hmm. youth must find a motivation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, must find... Yeah, find your motivation. Find your motivation. Yeah. What motivates you? What inspires you? Yeah, what inspires you? What motivates you? Mm -hmm. Also, that one can change you. Yeah? The things that push you to yeah. become the best version of yourself. Yeah. Find your motivation. The place where you fit and you, you feel that you are comfortable. Because I have told you, what is affecting most of our youth is our mindset. Uh, through the influence of other people so if we don't find if you if a youth you don't find the motiva motivation motivation you'll find that uh, uh, the discipline is, is not is to be changed mm -hmm. but if you find something that that that, that inspires you that, uh, that 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 you like that can uh, that you feel you are comfortable with that one also can change you mm -hmm. You are displayed. It's, it's important to take care of yourself. Yeah, taking care of yourself. Yeah. With finding something that is going to inspire you. Mm. Yes. Now, Apostle, I want us to bring this dis discussion to a close. Yeah. And uh, I want you to talk to youths watching you today. Yeah. Have a final word. What's your parting shot? Uh, uh, that is your camera. You yeah. can look directly to them yeah. as we bring this conversation yes. to a close. Yes. Okay. First of all, I identify all the youth, especially. I can say this one is affecting the youth be, between 13 years to 
to 25 years. That's the area most of the youth are being affected. So uh, I identify the youth, in, uh, in, uh, especially in our country, Kenya. For you to have a good discipline, for you to have a good behavior, to, for you to have a good character, first we have to forgive ourselves so that we may forgive others. And number two, we set a goal for our life. Not to be into, not to go to a places where, uh, where things are not favoring ourselves. We make a goal and choose a goal and move according to the goal. Number three, we, we, we as a youth, find your motivation. Find your motivation. All right. Find your motivation. All right. Yeah. Thank Be you. inspired. Mm -hmm. Number four, replace the, the discipline that you had, the character that you had, replace it with something else that is benefiting your life. Mm. Yes. All right. Thank yes. you so much, Apostle. Yes. That's Apostle John S. Uh, Silla, yes. a youth counselor, a mentor, and a pastor from Healing and Victory. Healing and Hope Church International. Yes. yes. Thanks so much, Apostle, Thank for you. coming. I appreciate it. Keep yeah. doing what you're doing. Keep changing lives out there. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Now, that represents the end of this uh, of discussion right here. It has been matters concerning self-discipline right here on Wine in the Morning, matters concerning career talk. I hope you've learned something. I hope you're going to change on something. I sure have uh, uh, loved this particular discussion. Looking forward to having more with the uh, Apostle. And of course, thank you so much to everybody that has been tuned in. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more right here on Wine in the Morning.